Coach Stewart here with a tutorial on a 5-1 serve receive. One thing I want to note is that sometimes the middle and the back will be replaced by a libero, so keep that in mind, whatever works for your team. In this rotation, I'm going to have the setter pull up and the right side drop back. Some teams have their outside drop back to pass because the outside might be a better passer than the right side, so keep that in mind. It'll look something like this. So we have our setters pulled up here, our right side drop back. Our middle is closer to the 10 foot line, ready to transition and hit. Our outside is gonna stay here for one, and our right side is gonna transition to hit, stay one. Once the ball goes back over the net, right side will come over here, outside will go over there. It'll look a little something like this. All right, back to our rotation one home, and we're going to rotate. Now we have our setter in middle back. Setter is going to pull up here. Our outside is going to drop back here. And it'll look something like this. A couple things to note. Our outside cannot go behind the middle back here. The setter cannot go in front of the right side here. And the setter can also not cross the middle here. And it will look something like this. We got our outside, middle, right side, ready to hit. We're gonna go back to our rotation home and rotate to rotation three. In rotation three, we like to do something called a five, three switch. So person in zone five is gonna switch with person in zone three, brings our setter closer to the front. Outside is gonna drop back and pass. It'll look something like this. So when we do this, the outside from the front row cannot cross the outside from the back row. The setter cannot go in front of the middle, and the middle has to stay on this side of the outside. All right, so we have our right side is ready to hit. Our outside will transition here to hit, and our middle will transition to the middle. It'll look like this. And now all of our hitters are ready to hit. And then we go back to our rotation three home. And we rotate to rotation four. Our setter is now front row. So no crazy switching here. We're all just gonna clump together here. So we want our middle closest to the 10 foot line. Have a quick attack ready to go. Our outside will come in to get ready to transition here and our setter will come here. It'll look like this. So you can see that our middle is close to a 10 foot line, our setter is closer to the net, outside is in the middle, ready to transition here. And once that ball is served, it'll look like this. So we got two hitters in the front row, ready to hit. We are going to go back to our rotation for home, and we are going to rotate to rotation five. Setters in middle front. So our outside is already where they need to be, so we're going to drop them back just a little bit to get ready to hit. Our middle is going to come in close to the 10 foot line, and our setter is going to kind of hang out right here. It'll look like this. Perfect. Not a lot of movement there. And then when they transition after the ball is served, it looks like this. Both hitters are ready to hit. We're going to go back to our rotation five home and rotate to rotation six. Setter is in right front. So setter just gonna hang out here. 
Our outside and our middle will cross. We want our middle closest to the 10 foot line. It'll look like this. And then once the ball is served, we will transition to hit. Setter is already in place. Perfect pass. Great. And those are the six rotations for a 5-1 serve receive.